I want you to pause with me. Just for a moment, listen. This is the beating heart of progress. And here in South Korea, there are no plans to slow down. With its population nearing 10 million, Seoul is noted for its rapid development and rapid adoption of new technologies, pushing Asia and the world forward. But with more people and more technology filling our roadways, how do we not only adapt quickly, but also safely? I'll give you one guess. I'm Miss Emma Walsh, and this is Driven by Simulation. Today I'm visiting HL Clamu, an innovative company striving to make the safest drive the most comfortable drive. As a key player in the safety critical automotive industry, HL Clamove is under constant pressure to develop radar and LiDAR solutions that enable an autonomous experience drivers can trust and rely on. Can you talk us through a little bit about HL Clamove? What is your vision here and, and what makes you unique? HL Clamove is a total system software hardware that is a total solution for the automotive total solution. The solution is such a system and the design of the design model is a global top three of chain. 현대계 자동차뿐만 아니라 어, 전 세계적으로 제품을 공급하고 있으며 자율주행 업계에서 아시아 마켓 리더 및 글로벌 탑7 서플라이어로 자리매김하고 있습니다. And then how is uh, HL Clamove contributing to the automotive industry? 자율주행 리딩 토탈 솔루션 프로바이더로서 완성차 업체들에게 자율주행 로드맵을 제시하며 어, 함께 성장하는 목표로 하고 있고 조만간 메이저 고객 대상으로 레벨 3 자율주행 부품 양산 공급을 앞두고 있습니다. 이러한 시대적 변화에 대응하기 위해 시뮬레이션을 통해 시간, 자원 투입을 최소화하면서도 여러 케이스에 대비할 수 있게 해준 엔시스는 당사의 핵심적인 파트너라고 생각합니다. 대표적인 예로 서멀 디자인 시에 엔시스의 해석 툴을 활용하여 서멀 시뮬레이션을 실행하여 하드웨어 경쟁력을 효율적으로 확보하고 있습니다. 엔시스에서 제공하는 여러 툴을 활용한 시뮬레이션을 통해 당사의 하드웨어 경쟁력을 강화하는 데큰 기여를 하고 있다고 생각하고 앞으로도 강력한 파트너십이 유지되기를 희망합니다. Can you just um, elaborate or explain a little bit more to me what optical, thermal and structural is? 열과 구조는 쉽게 얘기해서 그 자율주행 제품이 작동을 할때 온도가 너무 올라가게 돼 버리면 또는 온도가 올라가서 제품에 변형이 생겨버리면 성능에 문제가 될 수가 있습니다. 성능에 문제가 생기면 이건 곧그 운전자의 생명과 직결되기 때문에 되게 중요한 분야라고 말씀드릴 수 있을 것 같고요. 특히 옵티컬 같은 경우는 그 아까 말씀드렸듯이 자율주행 제품 중에 카메라가 있는데 카메라가 전방에 있는 사물이나 제품을 제대로 인식하지 않으면 이것 또한 큰 사고로 이어질 수가 있기 때문에 저희가 그 카메라가 전방의 사물이나 제품을 잘 인식할 수 있는지 그거를 어, 시뮬레이션 하는 게 옵티컬 해석입니다. 네, 오늘은 레이더를 개발된 레이더를 검증하고 실험을 통해서 시, 시뮬레이션과 비교해서 그 검증하는 작업을 진행했습니다. 어, 검증이라는 업무는 실제로 레이더가 동작하는 신호를 매번 만들 수 없으니 엔시스 툴을 이용해서 시뮬레이션과 동일한 작업을 일치하는 작업을 하고 있는 겁니다. 그러니까 쉽게 말하면 경향성을 판단하는 작업입니다. Can you tell me how radar works with them um, autonomous driving? 레이더는 차량의 앞이나 코너에 배치가 되어 있어서 도로 위에 있는 차량 혹은 사물들에 대해서 거리, 속도, 각도 등을 알아낼 수 있습니다. 그래서 그걸 통해서 자동차가 자율주행을 할수 있도록 도와주는 역할을 하고 있습니다. It's a fact. Our cars are getting smarter. But with the addition of new technologies and components means we have to rethink the risk and the ways in which we assess it. This next one might shock you. Autonomous driving is all about speed. And here in the picturesque Alpine city of Lindau, Continental is setting the pace with an ingenious use of digital twins. The definition of digital twin consists out of three parts. We have the virtual representation, which we do with the ANSYS simulation and the meter model. We have the physical product, which is 
for example, our sensors, and we have a connection between those two. So we're giving data from the real product into the digital twin, and the digital twin will then look for the best fit and shows us, um, for example, the temperature spread of it. A digital twin is much what it sounds like. By building a virtual prototype of a real-world system, engineers can manage the entire life cycle of a product or innovation, including expected wear and tear of components. These methodologies help us accurately predict when and where a system could fail, where maintenance may be required, and what additional value can be unlocked from existing assets. We do use simulation, which is already great, but what I did, we actually took the simulation, and as you know, a simulation run takes a couple of hours, um, and we created meter models that are able to erect really fast. So if we want to change input parameters now, we don't have to run a whole simulation again. We can just um, change the values and get back the results within seconds. So this helps us a lot, especially in the development phase, because we can sit down with the other engineers and look through the different designs configuration um, really fast. It's something in between virtual and real and it gives the reliability of the test for simulation, the speed and the agility of simulations to the test. So this is why Digital Twin is so important for us. First, simulation helps us to understand systems better. They are complex, they get more and more complex, so any data point more you have beside testing later on is gold. It's always better to have more simulations. Yeah, more information, more data points, that, that helps you to understand your product and system and that will help you to save costs or life or whatever in the end. We're currently already using the Chill Twin. We're not uh, only talking about might it be possible, we're using it for a test already. Of course we want to look what's further possible, what can we do with it in the future, can we maybe even take it into the car itself. I think automotive business is in some regards a little bit reluctant to go to very new innovations. So we are based on, we validate everything by test. And now with this digital twin, that's the path to go and this will become more and more important because simulation is one of the major paths to go, otherwise we will fail. So it's future. Do you remember your first car? Chances are you didn't have dozens of computers, LEDs and displays built into your dashboard. Cockpits of today are significantly brighter and have a lot more information to share with the driver. Which is why 3M is working to ensure that output is optimal under any and all lighting conditions. So the modeling software really helps in, in showing you where light's going to go. So it's great at generating light from specific sources and then propagating it through to wherever it's going to end up, and whether that's your eye or some other glass surface or wherever you're thinking that it's going to go. So in basic terms, you can tr trace light rays through a system. So it's easy to set up a vehicle and do it there using CAD from, say, the automotive OEMs. So it, it allows you to be able to model accurately where light's going, how it interacts with different surfaces and, and different materials, and where it'll end up. Every automotive OEM is coming up with a new cockpit design. Every cockpit design requires a different kind of display design. And making sure that we can enhance the readability of that display depending on where it is in, in the cockpit, uh, how big it is, what curvature it has, all of these things require us to customize a design for our optical films that enhance that driver safety and, and comfort. So, uh, we use optical design and simulation to look at the entire system in order to, in, to design the product, the, the optical film, for example, or adhesive, that gives the kind of result that, our, that the OEMs are expecting. Right now, every company we work with expects to see simulation data. Uh, that's how they put it into their system models. And so that common language of simulation both at the component level and at the system level, is how we exchange information. With virtual prototyping, you can totally save cost and time because you're using virtual prototype to replicate a real scenario before the design is even final. So we can work on, on your design very early on in the process 
and, and finalize what material and what um, even the placement of your displays and, and other lit elements can be finalized early on in the design process and thereby uh, create a safer environment for the driver. Nothing will slow our progress. As we boldly press forward, we must do so with the safety of the passenger in mind. As companies like HL Clamove, Continental and 3M have shown us, with simulation, we can predict the unpredictable. Tune in next time as we take it all back to the track, one of the most storied tracks in all of motorsport. I'm Miss Emma Walsh, and this is Driven by Simulation.